Hi everyone, it's Joy here. I'm excited to share with you how I created three cards using the products in the new In the Abstract card kit. This card kit is really fabulous. Now, of course, you get this great zipper pouch. This is a fantastic bag. You can hold many things in it after you're done using it for the kit. You get six of these envelope stickers. Then you're gonna get all these different colors of envelopes, which is really fantastic. I think these are beautiful colors. You get six of those. Then in the kit, you are going to get the Subtle Sprigs die. So you've got two great sprigs there. Then you're going to have the abstract accents, which is, this is the clear stamp and stencil combo. And then with the stencils, you have the little masking part to the stencils, which I will show you how I use those. And then here are the three stencils that you get with all of those fun abstract images. Then you have the beautiful soul stamp, and this has some great sentiments. Now this is an add-on, this is the branch out uh, die. That's an add-on, does not come in the kit. The 3D Foam Squares, the Oreo Ink, Poblano Pepper and Eggplant, Blue Corn, Honey and Sprinkles Ink, Sweet Potato Pie, Lemon Meringue, Lime Zest and Cilantro. I am going to be doing some embossing, so I need Gold Embossing Powder, my Powder Tool, Versamark. I have an acrylic block, my blending brushes. I'm also going to be using Vellum and Oreo and Sugar Cube cardstock. So now for this first card, I have a piece of sugar cube cardstock, A2 size, and I'm coming in with the blue corn ink and the blender brush and just blending in this first image. And I'm actually kind of copying just different colors. I'm copying the layout for uh, the images that you can find that coordinate with this stencil and stamp combo. The next color I am going to be inking up is the Sprinkles ink, and I'm kind of laying these colors down pretty dark. This next layer for the Sprinkles ink, I'm actually going to come in a little bit lighter. So even though I'm using the same colors, it looks like I'm using different ones just by going lighter or darker. So I'm just going to come in with this little image, but first I want to do the masking. So here is the piece that masks it off. I'm just going to add a little bit of low tack tape. Hold that in place and then just come in and like I said, I'm just going to blend this nice and light so it's not as dark as the other piece. Then I'm going to come in with a really fun color. I'm going to be using Honey and I liked this color combo together. I think this is really pretty and it kind of pops and stands out. So I'm going to come in and just lay down my image. I'm not going to have this overlap so I don't need to mask anything off and I did not want to blend the yellow and the blue together for obvious reasons. So it's kind of off to the side but that honey looks really pretty. Okay, for the next card, I'm just using two colors of for this card. I'm using Poblano Pepper and Eggplant, but I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm a little bit darker and a little bit lighter. I need to put that masking stencil down and then coming back in and now I'm using the Eggplant, which is a really gorgeous purple color. Then I'm gonna come in with my next pieces and again, just lining this up. You can't do this wrong just whatever looks good to you just lay it out whatever color combination you do just lay it out you can see on that one i overlapped it without a mask and i'm going to do the same thing for the next piece i'm just going to overlap it a little and you can see that that other smaller piece that i used for the poblano pepper is really dark and then that purple is really dark excuse me i did use the mask there and i did have a little bit of ink on the outside so i just used an eraser to ink that up now for the third card i am using sweet potato ink lemon meringue lime zest and cilantro so that was sweet potato ink i'm going to come in with the lemon meringue and these images look like an orange and a lemon and so that's how i'm treating this because in that cute little stamp set you do have some stamped leaves so I'm masking off the circle, which would be the orange, and then coming in with my lemons and just inking those up so it looks like they're, they are sitting behind the orange. Now here is that clear stamp set, and so we're gonna add some other little abstract images. These are some cute little dots, and I'm gonna come in and actually use some Oreo ink to stamp these up. I'm gonna stamp them in two spots. Just kind of moving it around, and like, you said, you, like I said, you can't do this wrong. It's whatever looks good to you. Then on this uh, background, it's got these cute little lines. And so I'm gonna do those at the top of the card design and then kind of at the bottom going in a different direction. 
which I think is really cute. And I'm actually stamping that in the blue corn ink. And then I'm gonna come in with those dots and stamp that in the sprinkles ink. For the last card, this is where we're gonna bring in the leaves and these images are actually images. So for this ink here, this is the lime zest that I'm going to be inking up on the lemons. For the orange, I am gonna do cilantro. There is also a little piece that looks like the bottom part of the orange, uh, like the little X mark, the little hole, the little, I guess where it was hanging on the tree, the little part that hooks to the stem. But I opted to not use that because I'm gonna come in with this great little circle. I'm prepping my cardstock with my anti-static powder tool, inking up that image with a Versamark ink, and then coming in with some gold embossing powder. I knew I wanted to add gold accents to this card because I think it would be beautiful with that orange and yellow. So now for the lemons, I'm just gonna use those little dots that we've already used on the other two cards. Again, prepping my cardstock with the powder tool using Versamark ink, and I'm gonna stamp both of those lemons and then just sprinkle on my gold embossing powder, and then everything is gonna have a gold um, little, uh, accents to it. So the sentiment that I'm going to use on this card, I'm going to stamp directly on this card panel with some Oreo ink it says blessed to have you in my life. And I think that the font and the script of this is absolutely gorgeous. I die cut the images from the subtle sprigs die with sugar cube cardstock. And I'm here adhering this to the outside part of a sugar cube cardstock panel. This is a2 sized and I'm adhering this down and then I'll trim off the excess. I want this to give my background card panel the look of a 3D patterned paper. So again, this is the Subtle Sprigs die. I'm going to adhere that top panel down with some 3D foam squares and then that card will be attached to a white A2 size card base. Now these images are die cut from Oreo cardstock. Again, this is from the Subtle Sprigs die. This comes in your kit. I'm going to adhere those down over my abstract images and I really like this sprig. I think it is really super pretty. I'm gonna come in with the sentiment that is from the Beautiful Soul stamp set in the kit. I'm going to prep my cardstock with my anti-static powder tool, ink that up with Versamark ink and then come in with my gold embossing powder and just sprinkle that on. And then I will heat that with my heat tool until it is melted. This is trimmed down about a quarter of an inch on all sides, and I'm going to adhere that to a white A2 size card base. So for the final card, this is the branch out die. I die cut it from vellum. That is not the die that is included in the kit. That you have to buy extra. I'm stamping the sentiment onto some white cardstock, prepping it with the powder tool using Versamark ink, and then coming in with my gold embossing powder and heating that until it's melted. I will use my paper trimmer to trim that out. Now for this background, I trimmed it down about a quarter of an inch on all sides, added a black mat using Oreo cardstock. I used 3D foam squares behind that sentiment. Then I'm coming in with just the tiniest bit of liquid glue, just a couple little dots behind the vellum because you can see adhesive that way, but a couple little dots you're not gonna notice. And I'm just going to adhere that over my abstract images. Then I'm going to adhere that to a white A2 size card base. And then these cards are finished and I love these abstract cards. They were so fun to make. It felt like there weren't any rules to follow. You could kind of just use fun color combinations and they were a blast to make. I hope that you enjoyed this project. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.